the classified balance sheet. Now recall a balance sheet is a snapshot at one point in time. At the end of business, December 31st, these are my assets, these are my liabilities, and this is my shareholder's equity. However, we can do a better job in presenting that data by classifying those assets and those liabilities that are similar. And that's what we're doing here. We're gonna classify the assets into four categories. Current assets, long-term investments, property, plant, and equipment, and intangible assets. On the liability and shareholders' equity, we're going to take the liabilities and break them into short-term and long-term. Short-term being current, long-term being more than one year. Here we have the balance sheet for Franklin Corporation. Notice the assets in the four categories, current assets in red, long-term investments, property, plant, and equipment, and intangible assets. You see them listing, so you have the four out in the right-hand column. The current assets, 22,100. Long-term investment, 7,200, 29,000, and 3,100. And I show total assets of 61,004. Now, if I want more detail, I move into the inside column and there's the list of my current assets. Cash, short-term investments, accounts for receivable, and so on. In the liability side, same thing. We have current liabilities and long-term liabilities. Current liabilities, 16,050. Long-term liabilities, 11,300. And the inside column gives you a more detailed list of what those current liabilities and long-term liabilities are. The shareholders' equity section is the same as the balance sheet that you originally learned. Now, to the current assets. We call something current that has to be paid within the next accounting year or operating cycle. Generally, current assets are uh, assets that will turn themselves into cash in the next six months. For example, the current assets here, we have cash and cash equivalents. Short-term investments, that is shares or stock in, in some well-known company like Apple. Accounts receivable. Now they're gonna turn themselves into cash. So we list all these assets in terms of what we call liquidity. Cash is the most liquid asset. Short-term investment can be turned quickly into cash. Accounts receivable represents sales I've made in the past. My customers will be paying me within 30 days. Inventory is what I have on hand. It's what I'm going to sell within the next six months, and it too will turn itself into cash. So we list them in the order of liquidity. Now, long-term investments. These are investments the company makes in either other stocks or bonds or purchases other assets that they're not going to be using. A company who hold, that holds a lot of cash does not get any interest earned on that cash if it's sitting in the bank. So a company will invest that extra cash in the stocks of other company or the bonds of another company.
Or they may have plans to open a plant somewhere in another city and they go ahead and purchase land or even a building that they're not currently using, but they plan to use. Those are long-term investments and they're shown separately. Now, property, plant, and equipment is a large category here that represents the ownership of all the trucks and equipment, the building that we have, and the property that we're working on. These assets are going to service the company for more than one year. That's why they're called long-term assets. They have a useful life of more than one year, quite often three to five, 10, maybe even 20. And so therefore, the amount we use up every year is calculated and displayed as depreciation. And therefore, the property, plant, and equipment would be shown net of accumulated depreciation. Now, accumulated depreciation means, let's assume I bought a truck for 10000 and I'm going to use it for five years. I've used it for two. So now I would show truck 10000 less accumulated depreciation of 4000 And then I would show a value of that truck as being 6000 That's called book value. Now, lastly, oh, there's the demonstration or the presentation of the current asset. Lastly is, are the intangible assets. Now, these assets have no physical substance. Think of Nike. When you think of Nike, you see that check mark that's on, you know, the, uh, the player's clothes. So Nike has spent a lot of money. So that when you see that check mark, you know it's them. That is an intangible asset. Other intangible assets are goodwill, brands, trademarks, and so on. So they're listed separately. Now, current liabilities are debts that we're going to have to pay within the next three, six, or 12 months. All right. And we show them uh, no particular order, but here we show notes payable, accounts payable, uh, current maturity on long-term debt, taxes payable, and so on. They will have to be paid off in the coming 12 months. Contrast that to long-term liabilities. Now, if I bought a building and I borrowed the money from the bank, that's called a mortgage. And so I might have a mortgage payable. I may have another long-term debt with a bank. And I show these. I don't have to pay them all off in the next year. I'll pay a portion off, and I show that portion in the current liabilities. The rest I show in long-term liabilities. And The shareholders' equity section is the same as you uh, were introduced to in the beginning. And that represents common stock, or sometimes called capital stock. And that is the value of the shares that the company sold the shareholders. So that, in this case, is 14000 The retained earnings represent all the earnings the company has made from the day it started to today but they have not given back in the form of dividends to shareholders. They kept it. They retained it. They retained it. It belongs to the shareholders, but the company is keeping it to finance future growth. And so that's why it's shown here. <clears throat> it belongs to the shareholders. So that completes a classified balance sheet. Now let's test your understanding. Sales and wages payable. Where would that go? The balance sheet or the income statement? Well, it's a payable, it's a liability, and you owe salary, so you must be paying that very quickly in the new year. So that would be a current liability. Service revenue, well, wait a minute, I'm talking the classified balance sheet here. Revenue's got nothing to do with a classified balance sheet. Interest payable, that's a liability, but that would be shown under current liabilities. 
Goodwill is an asset. It's an intangible asset. Short-term investment is a current asset. I can put that into cash real quick. Mortgage payable due in three years. That is a long-term liability. Investment in real estate. That is a long-term investment. Equipment is PPE, and so is accumulated depreciation. But depreciation expense is on the income statement. Expenses are on the income statement. Retained earnings is the shareholders' equity section. And unearned service revenue, that too is a current liability. I, I have to perform that service that I was paid for within the next three to six months. And there you have an overview of the classified balance sheet.